Oh, oh. I'm going to take Steve Zalatow's chips uh -oh. and put them right into it, and they've got problems. Pocket nines for Debo on the button, asking for a count. A little over two. All in. All in. All in. All in. Oh. Here comes the flop. Jack six tray, not a great one for Steve. The four does work for the time being, though. An ace, the only path to the lead for Steve. And there it is, an ace on the turn. And now it is Debo. Who needs to He's played too many years hit a to two outer to whittle our field. Yeah, and he can't do it. End of five. <laughs> the eagle has landed. On. All in. All in. Oh. Whoa. So the jam from Debo then draws a jam behind him out of the slightly shorter stack of Lev Gohan. The flop. 10 6 deuce. Sits it's pretty. pretty. Jack needs a jack. Instead, it's the ace. Whoa, Neither player the has a spade. Well, the story the stays the same. Yeah, Three outs, but now just yeah. once yeah. from Michel yeah. Lev Gohan yeah. to avoid yeah. elimination. Yeah. And instead, it's running aces. The kicker yeah. continues yeah. to play. Yeah. And Debo yeah. has yeah. eliminated. Yeah. Member of the French delegation yeah, who appears a little you bit something. You have something uh, shell shocked. Yeah. Not. For Debo, you're just disgusted when that seabed doesn't work on that texture. You, yeah. you think it's your sort of board? It looks like he is going to dial it up. If he does it, Ali, he is targeting in his mind some sort of queen. Now he knows. Okay, I'm up against a king. Maybe there's a world in which it's some sort of, you know, combo flush draw that would have turned puppy paws. Is this now a dangerous card, Ali, where he has the ace of clubs in his hand? Do we yeah. ever empty the clip? A thin line trying to represent that, not flush. And he spun it all the way up. All in. Oh Five my. million, and he's going to jam. Real pressure being applied now to King Ten. And I think, and if you're Beefarella, you got to be mindful of the fact that Debo has two smaller stacks out there behind him. Granted, not a whole lot smaller. Look at that, Beefarella intently looking over at Debo, and he made the call. In the end, sniffing out the bluff, and in doing so, he is eliminated. Yeah. Exactly what you were saying. Take the equity. Oh, and bink it. As nines and tens will be downing these two queens. Peachy doesn't like it. He does block the king queen, the queen eight. Take the ladder sort of out of the range, but... For the times that we are up against an overpair, queens, kings, aces, you try and extract some value. If it's a set of jacks, so be it. But you at least try and get something from those other hands, as mentioned. Uh, of course, Peachy could also have a hand like ace-jack suited as well. Two nines. You hear him talking about two eights and two nines, and that certainly does right, feel uh, like it's within the realm of possibility. Yeah, when you start going down the road, too, of things that we beat that they're bluffing with, a hand like 6-7 suited, 5-7 suited. 10-9 suited. Oh. Bingo. That is the combo. Would you bet these jacks on all the time? Would you check it all the time? Good fold. Great lay down. I'll take Owen. And then hands like this. It just goes against the grain of everything he's worked towards. He's been passing on a lot of these spots to maintain that chip lead. This is for, I think, roughly 40% of the chips. Oh, here we go. Yes, and he's going to make this big call. We're going to play an over 15 million chip pot here, Brent. 
I found my rooting doesn't have much more like it. And an ace in the window. Peachy can breathe far easier now. Maxim's hand creates some comfort as the four-sided heart does roll off on the turn. That was alarming. Can he do it? We. Oui. As the king of spades secures him the chip lead and over 15 million. 3.15. Indeed, the call is made, and Zalatau will be thrilled that he has ace nine suited here. And the board is king 10 8, and the ace eight. Hits the side card, putting Steve Zolotow in a bad way with no diamond on board and no spade in his hand. Just 16%, 6.7 million in the middle. The five adds no equity, and Steve knows the bell tolls. The river is a deuce. And with that, we have lost the elder statesman of the proceedings, Steve Zolotow, the eagle. Showing the pilot in against Paris and put the pressure on Paris. And I kind of like this spot. Oh, uh, yeah. And Paris sharing the five with Robbins. What a disaster for him as he doesn't even have two clean cards. <laughs> Maxim over with his rail for this flop, which does produce a gut shot straight draw for Robbins. So he'll add four outs. It's a three. And now. Max in Paris is one step closer to eliminating Kenny Robbins, picking up the pay jump. Chips, the river is an ace. And his rail erupts. As he calls the extra 1.35 and binks the nuts on the turn. Five and a half million in the middle. ticket for PG. Backdoor diamond draw there. And PG can't be sure whether or not his opponent is drawing dead. There are no checkbacks in Peachy's world right now, are there? I don't think Paris can check you. I not mean in with, Paris. Yeah, well, not, not with two pair. No. If you're up against the 6-8, so be it. I also don't think there's any bet folds, which is we're a problem. All in. All in. And Peachy. Check jams over the top of the three million, and you can see the discomfort instantly washing over Maxim Paris. And he has made the call and will realize he has just four outs. Can Peachy hold double and vault to a massive chip lead? in this over 30 million chip pot. The river is a king. And Justin Peachy has dealt a mortal blow. It's the dream. It really is. Yeah. Three-handed for a bracelet. Late at night. Jack 10 off suit. Oh, uh-oh. Paris moves it all in, and Bifarella, unfortunately, might be sending his countrymen in. Packing as he moves all in over the top. It would take a very special hand for Peachy to show up. King three suited will be an easy muck. He must have sque squeezed the Damn king it. first. <laughs> Indeed. And Jack 10 will spin. Small as they are, their roar will be mighty if this ace king manages to hold against Jack 10 and leave Bifarella heads up for the bracelet. To the flop we go with Jack in the window. And Paris is sitting pretty. I'm just, I'm just it's not really. No, oh my oh. goodness, the king of hearts on the river. A disastrous outcome for Maxim Paris, who comes over to show love. The game, buddy. You're a hell of a player. Yeah, you're a hell of a player. Earning the respect of Justin Peachy. Been a fairly tense heads up affair. Very cautious, like a cat coming upon unfamiliar territory. One paw out in front of the other, slowly, gently, 
testing. Well, both players with nine lives as well. Fair. Though I don't think Peachy was put to the test. We know Beefarella was. Four, five, six with oh. a couple of spades, and it is top two against a gutter and the flush draw. There's some writing on the wall here, Brent. All in. The check jam was always a possibility, and I can't imagine that this is the sort of hand Peachy can get away with. Indeed, he makes the call, and we play a 21 million chip pot where Bifarella is at risk. The turn is a king. And suddenly the plot thickens. 19 outs total for Bifarella. Israel can feel it. Peachy needs to fade. And the river's the queen of clubs, he's done it! Let's go! A second bracelet for Justin Peachy. Great shot of him here, celebrate my man. He brought that Ewok power. And in the end, it paid off. And you see him getting some respect from the French rail there. And now perhaps a little emotion as he can exhale validation coming in the form of a second piece of jewelry for Justin Peachy, adding to his almost 1.5 million in career tournament earnings. We certainly hope you've enjoyed tonight's continuing coverage of the 2022 World Series of Poker. Don't forget, we have more action coming your way tomorrow and every day from here in Las Vegas. On behalf of our entire crew and my partner in the booth, Brent Hanks, I'm Alina Shah saying good night. We'll see you tomorrow.